Well, while it will take untold billions to build America's alternative energy infrastructure, the answer for some may be a lot closer to home and a whole lot less expensive. Our Russ Joel explains. There's been lots of talk about biofuels lately. Ethanol is the undisputed king of the biofuel world, and corn is the undisputed king of ethanol. Or is it? You know, we can certainly compete with corn ethanol, um, and in terms of, of process inputs and process costs, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, you know, we could beat it. Dr. Danny Belmer and her team of OSU scientists are trying to dethrone the mighty Cobb's rule over ethanol, hoping instead to try a much sweeter solution. That's sweet sorghum juice, somewhere around 15% uh, sugar. That can be converted to ethanol. We have uh, 20 acres of sweet sorghum at the South Central Research Station at Chickasha. And we wanted to do is, is demonstrate the possibility of converting sweet sorghum juice into ethanol. Ray Hunky is the director of OSU's Bio-Based Products and Energy Center and says that sweet sorghum juice is an ideal substance for the production of ethanol. Mm -hmm. We feel that uh, sweet sorghum uh, has advantages of its low fertility requirements as well as low uh, water requirements to maintain a, a viable crop. It's a type of uh, plant that you can extract the juice very relatively easily and then ferment it even easier than most any other process. A process that Dr. Belmer and her team are working to make even easier with the use of this towable device. Two or three years ago, um, Lee McClune came into our center, the Food and Ag Products Center, with the idea of um, wanting to use sweet sorghum for ethanol. And, and he had this prototype harvester that he wanted us to look at and evaluate. Um, so we began at that point to, to look at the whole process. And what it's evolved into is um, an infield process. Which means the juice is squeezed right from the cane the minute it is harvested. You get liquid sugar in the stalk of the crop that can simply be pressed and then fermented into ethanol. So you don't have starch to convert like you do with corn. You don't have cellulose to break down. You simply have to press the stock and you get liquid sugar. They've known how to separate ethanol and water since the beginning of time. OSU chemistry professor Rob Whiteley says that while turning sugar into ethanol is an age-old process, making that process commercially viable for farmers will require modern-day technology. We envision this would be two distillation columns that are normally one foot in diameter uh, by about 30 feet tall, and they have uh, material inside them to help uh, perform the separation. So you would see two tall cylindrical vessels and a couple of pumps and uh, a couple of small heat exchangers and some storage tanks. Completing the cycle of fuel to energize the Oklahoma economy. It's basically the potential to, uh, to, to have a nice stream of income that's dependable. Um, in addition, pr producing your own source of energy, you know, so you wouldn't not be reliable on an external source of energy.